What's up YouTube? This is Isaac coming at you today. We're going to talk about the in-case point-and-shoot field bag. Alright, so let's talk about this in-case point-and-shoot field bag. Now I'm going to be talking about this from the perspective of using this for a small interchangeable lens camera system like uh, Micro Four Thirds, which is what I use. Uh, this could be used, I mean it was designed to be used for a smaller uh, all-in-one like a Sony RX100 or something like that. And I think it will work just fine. This particular review is going to focus on using this as a, as a sort of minimal out and about camera setup for a small interchangeable lens system. And when I talk about that, I'm, I'm going to talk about how I carry the camera body with a small lens, how many lenses I can carry, and how this actually performs when you're out on an actual photo walk versus when you're out, let's say, with the family and you need to carry just a few extra things, all right? So this, as you can tell, is a very small bag, so you're not going to be carrying tons and tons of stuff, and this is not for your big DSLR by any means. It's just not going to fit, all right? Uh, this bag retails, I'll tell you right off the bat, for about $70, although I didn't buy, buy it for that. I paid quite a bit less. I bought it secondhand off eBay, and I just checked right now, and I've seen a couple more of these things popped up. Secondhand, I paid around, I think, $30 for it. So that's sort of where I'm coming in price point. I'll talk about if it's worth that amount, the amount that I paid, and I'll talk about whether it's worth paying full price or not. So just to sort of walk through the bag, the, the general layout is pretty straightforward. On the front, there's a small sort of quick access zipper pouch. It's got um, a couple of little internal pockets, uh, including a space for a pen and a couple of places you could put, I don't know, camera cloths, you know, wet lens wipes, um, SD cards and the like. At the moment, I just keep a lens pen up there. Uh, this is where I would keep my spare SD cards at the moment don't have any in there right now because I need to order some more. On the back it has this Velcro slot which yeah, I guess you're supposed to put a tablet or something in there. For me this is totally completely useless because I'm not out with this small bag and a tablet. To me that seems like a ridiculous thing to do. Uh, maybe that will be useful for you. You can put your phone in there if you need to but honestly if I'm going out with this bag phone's in my pocket because I'm going minimal. All right? And then there are two main zippers. I'll talk about some of the other stuff, like the strap, in a little bit. Uh, the main pouch is this top zipper, and you'll notice the bag is sort of angled this way. That's so that the main pouch opens up like this when you want to get into it. Inside, there is a sort of dimensional pocket right on that lid, and then in here, there is yet another space to put your tablet, which again, for me, is totally and completely useless. This is the tablet slot right here. Uh, inside this it came with a couple of dividers. I have switched those out and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But there is a sort of place for your camera right here and this is got some padding all around it even on the bottom and some sort of nicer padded smoother cloth right there. Uh, and then on this side there is just sort of um, a stretchy pocket here, which, you know, I'm keeping just a little blower in. And then there is a um, Velcro flap top pocket over here with some padding on it as well. Um, up here, this sort of pocket has some dimension. This is where I'm keeping extra lenses for the most part, which I'll talk about in, in just a little bit. So I'm going to just repack a little bit to show you how quickly you can kind of get into and out of the bag. It's pretty straightforward like that. Um, you zip that up like this. And then on the end, on this end, there is another entrance into that main compartment to the camera side. And this is where you sensibly are going to be reaching while the bag is on you to get your camera in and out. And that is the feature that really attracted me initially to this bag, was the idea that I could have quick access to the camera and a little bit more organization. 
In terms of its construction, as with all the Incase products, I've reviewed the um, Incase DSLR Sling, which is the other bag that I use. Um, I think the construction is, is very well done. The materials are good. This is some sort of textured nylon. It seems like it will stand up to a lot of wear and tear. The handles, as with all the Incase products, are really nice. They have uh, slick nylon. They feel good in the hand. They're placed well. They balance right. This particular bag is a sling style bag and um, it goes over the shoulder like so and you carry it like that. Now when I bought this bag this strap couldn't get short enough. In fact it was attached um, basically in, in a way that you literally couldn't cinch it short enough for it to be comfortable on me. So I actually had to snip off with scissors one end of the straps right here so I could actually pull it a little shorter than normal. And it's kind of got a weird, it's got a buckle. DSLR Sling Pack has a buckle too. I don't quite understand why they all have buckles because it doesn't really work to put it on that way. I guess it's sort of nice if you're at dinner and you want to buckle it through the chair or something like that so somebody can't just run off with it. But this part is too long, right? It needed to be sort of shorter. The buckle needed to be up here so that you could really adjust this thing to fit you. So my workaround for that was to snip this off so I could just pull it through a little bit more. The material of the shoulder strap is like all their other stuff, very nice. It's that really slick, like a seat belt material. So in general, it's built really well. The thing that lets this bag down is the same thing that lets the in-case DSLR bag down is that they use two small gauge of zippers, right? The zippers are high quality, um, but the actual size of them is too small for the stress that you're putting onto this, especially because of these 90 degree corners. It's very, very, very difficult sometimes while the bag is on you to open them up and close them quickly because they're just a little too small. They're sort of underpowered, right? So in practice, I'll show you how I actually use this thing. You've seen, I do keep my camera in here. This is works very well for pancake lenses. This is the this is my Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II. On it, I have right here the Panasonic 14 millimeter, which is the smallest full actual lens you can get for the Micro Four Thirds system, barring those uh, body cap lenses. Um, so this works really well if you have small lenses and a small body like the EM10 or like an Olympus pen or something like that. Up top here, I keep, I keep two lenses. I could actually keep probably three small lenses. Here I have the 20 millimeter, another pancake. This is the Panasonic 20, 1.4, 1.7, whatever it is. And this is another small, really great lens, the Olympus 45 millimeter, 1.8. And it actually has uh, a sort of lens hood on it. So if you just kept it without the hood, it would be even smaller to, to put in the back. Inside here, like I said, I keep a blower just because, you know, keep those lenses clean. And then I actually have this, which is a, an old uh, wide angle converter from Fujifilm that with the help of a couple of adapters fits onto that 14 millimeter and makes it into a 10.5 millimeter super wide angle. So if you think about it, I have here one, two, three, and then four lenses in this small bag. In fact, that's not all because I do always keep that nine millimeter fisheye body cap lens in there. So in this small bag, I have my camera body, uh, I have my portrait lens, I have my normal lens, I have my regular wide angle, I have my super wide angle rectilinear, and I have my fisheye. So this is kind of like a perfect out and about setup to basically cover everything except for super telephoto. And you're not gonna fit a telephoto lens into this bag. It's just not gonna happen. Um, along with that, I have enough space for you know everyday photographic needs, lens cloths, uh, wipes, uh, blowers, SD cards. I could put my wallet, I could put my phone, I could probably fit my keys in here without a problem. 
What I've done is instead of the little two little pieces of foam divider that they give you, I have put this, this is one of those Peak Designs origami style dividers. And I just find this to be a lot more flexible because of the way it pops open and shut. Uh, and when I do that, I can then lay on top of it a small tabletop tripod. And it goes nicely in there, camera underneath, lenses all in there, and fits really well. And that, for me, is a really flexible, out and about, sort of daily carry, basically a minimalist setup, relatively minimalist setup, that's going to cover a lot of situations with the family, if you're going on a trip, going on vacation or something like that, this would work pretty well. Now, the couple of frustrations that I do have with this bag, number one, it was that the shoulder strap was kind of small and I had, I mean, kind of long and I had to cut it so that I could make it shorter. Number two, it was the sort of foam dividers that come with it weren't ideal. So I solved that, I solved this. The thing that I can't solve are the zippers and that still frustrates me on a regular basis. I wish that those zippers were beefier and I hope in case in the future we'll make versions of their bags that have beefier zippers. The other thing that I find superfluous is this, this, this super padded slot for your tablet. I think it just wastes some space in the bag along with this sort of sort of this thing although I guess it's nice to be able to put like that body cap lens in there or maybe a set of filters or something like that and have a little bit of padding but honestly it's it seems like you're taking up about half an inch of space that could be used for more actual equipment for camera equipment rather than things like tablets because I'm just not I'm just never going to be bringing a tablet along when I'm out photographing and this bag is not big enough for me to take it as for travel or something like that to have other things like that. Which brings me to using using it with the family. You know, you're going to have to have another bag to keep other stuff in. If you got a kid, I've got a baby, you know, you got to have that baby bag. And, and honestly, when I have that baby backpack on, I'm going to put my camera in that thing. So you're not going to bring this along when you're out with the family in that sense. But if you're out and your partner is going to carry the baby stuff, maybe you can throw this over your shoulder and it's just enough for you to capture the moments that are going to take place while you guys are all sort of out. The other little thing that's annoying is that it only goes one way. It can only go like this, over your left shoulder, and then you bring the thing around and then you have to reach behind over here to get into the camera section, right? That's the camera section right here. So you got to actually have it on your chest like this before you can really easily access your camera. It would be kind of, in my opinion, a little nicer if you could bring it like this and get into it from this side and then be, be photographing it. And then you could keep it kind of under your arm. Instead you have to have it over here. Now the upside to that is that if you want to change lenses, you can kind of open it up and it works like a little bit of a workstation. You can, you can get into the lens compartment like this while it's on you and you can have your camera sort of right here and you can change your lens pretty quickly by using this as a, as a nice sort of shelf to be able to do that and in practice actually that works really well uh, in terms of being able to do a hot swap in the field then the only thing that you're let down with is again the zipper which becomes a real pain to close so that's basically how I use it what I see as the pros and cons. I think it's a good idea. I think it works with some modification in the capacity that I've been using it for a small interchangeable lens camera system. I think it probably is better suited to using it for just your point and shoot that you keep over here and then I guess you keep your daily tech stuff in the rest of the bag. For me it's too small for that kind of thing. I could never use this as my daily carry. I, I think it, it just, I need a little bit more, you know, I need to be able to carry a jacket, a water bottle, that kind of stuff, if this is my only bag that I'm taking with me for a whole day or a couple of days or something like that. If I'm going out expressly to shoot photos and I just want to have a little thing that's out of the way, it works pretty well for that. Um, I would never have paid 
whatever I said, $69.95, $70. I would never have paid that for this bag. That is that is way too expensive for what you get. $30, $35? Yeah, it's worth it if you find it used uh, for that. Um, it, it does fill a slot in my needs. I do use it. It is not the bag that I'm using every single day. I, I have that DSLR um, sling bag, which I do tend to use if I'm going with my bigger camera, which I'm filming on now. And I do have a slightly bigger camera backpack, which in fact I'm not using as a camera backpack. I'm using it as a, as a actually as a baby bag, as a diaper bag at the moment. Um, and I may give a, a short video update about that. That is the um, bag that I reviewed a little bit ago from uh, KNF Concept, a sort of waterproof travel camera backpack. Um, but I hope you find this useful. I'm always searching for bag solutions. This thing came so close. This is almost perfect. I think if it had a little bit more width to it, had a little fewer of the um, things that it's trying to do to become like a general purpose tech bag and focus more on photography, it could be almost perfect for a small, minimal, grab-and-go, micro four-thirds, interchangeable lens camera bag. I certainly think it's better than some of the other bigger shoulder bags that exist out there. And it can potentially offer up some flexibility if you can get away with using some of the smaller micro four-thirds lenses. All right. Hope that was helpful. Catch you on the flip side.